August 6, 2014 Yomiri Shimbun Asahi Shimbun makes long overdue corrections over comfort women. After a review of its reports on the so-called comfort women issue, which has become a huge thorn in the side of Japan-South Korea ties, the Asahi Shimbun has admitted its mistakes in the reports and retracted some of the contents. The retractions allude to reports on remarks by Seiji Yoshida, who claimed to have forcibly taken away local women from Jeju Island, South Korea, to make them serve as comfort women. During World War II, Yoshida was said to be the former head of the mobilization department of the Shimonoseki branch of Romu Wakakikai, an organization in charge of recruiting laborers. In September 1982, the newspaper reported without verification the remarks of Yoshida, who claimed to have hunted up 200 young Korean women in Jeju Island. Misperceptions about Japan The report added fuel to anti-Japan sentiment in South Korea, and also became a basis of misperception of Japan spreading through the world. In its Tuesday morning edition, the Asahi concluded that Yoshida's remarks were baseless and finally retracted the newspaper's reports regarding the remarks. The Asahi has, by its own reported about Yoshida on at least 16 occasions. Historian Iku Hikohata raised doubts over Yoshida's remarks in 1992. But the newspaper has long refrained from making a correction. Yoshida's remarks were cited by a 1996 UN Human Rights Commission report compiled by Radhika Kumaraswamy helping propagate a misunderstanding in the international community that the forcible recruitment of comfort women took place. Another serious problem with the Asahi's reports is the mix-up between comfort women and female volunteer corps. In a front-page article carried in January 1992, the Asahi stated that South Korean women became the major target of forcible recruitment conducted in the name of the female volunteer corps. The estimated number of victims range from 80,000 to 200,000. The report was issued just before then-Prime Minister Keiichi Miyazawa's visit to South Korea. It prompted the government to conduct an investigation into the comfort women issue, resulting in a statement issued by then-Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono, which expressed the government's sincere apologies and remorse to former comfort women. In Tuesday morning's edition, the Asahi admitted its mistake over the mix-up for the first time saying that the female volunteer corps refers to groups of women mobilized for work in munitions factories and elsewhere during wartime and are completely different from comfort women.